guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is Jasmine and this is my channel imagine Jasmine so I do not want this video to be extremely long because I have a lot of products to get through but y'all Lord, I'm dropping things. Do you see this? Do you see this? These are my spring empties that I went through. And y'all, it's massive. So we're just gonna jump right into it. First, I'm gonna start off, start off with this box. I picked up these fragrance-free wipes from Ollie's. You get 464 wipes, and it's an eight pack, and I got them for $8.99. I really do enjoy these wipes. If I see these at a good deal, I would definitely repurchase these again. And what I also like about these wipes, they're compact enough you can even put them in your purse. So, and these are the all clean, I think it's just called all clean. Yep. So there's that. Next, we have an exfoliating washcloth. I got these from Amazon, and it came in a pack of three. And, y'all, I really love these exfoliating washcloths. They're really long. You can reach your back. They're very rough. One thing I will say, though, I use the Bath & Body Works Moisturizing Body Wash on these exfoliating washcloths and I feel like they changed the texture of these. I mean, these are machine washable as well too, but I feel like the moisturizing body washes are too moisturizing and I feel like it affected its abrasiveness. So um, going forward, if you guys have that, I would say use a poof or a washcloth if you have the moisturizing body washes because things like this, I really do feel like it changed the texture. And I would definitely repurchase this. Next, we have the Spa Sister Glow Body Treatment Exfoliating Gloves. These came in a pack of two. Got it from TJ Maxx on clearance of four dollars. Um, I currently have a pair of gloves that I just started using um, in the shower now, so I would definitely buy these again. We have a candle, y'all. It burned kind of funky. I mean, it sooted a little bit, but for the most part, I would give the throw about a 5 out of 10. Um, the scent notes are Tropical Dragon Fruit Vibrant Green Tea Lemonade and Sweet Coconut Milk. It's a nice fragrance. If I seen, these, seen this for 75% off, I would purchase it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to to buy this again because the throw was okay this will do better like in a small bedroom or bathroom next we have this soft soap gentle wash oat milk and comforting vanilla y'all this body wash is everything it smells so good it doesn't smell anything like the description oat milk or vanilla it's a very clean scent I would definitely repurchase this a thousand times. It smells so, so good. One thing I will say after having a baby, like my period is still kind of all over the place. And whenever I'm on my cycle, I prefer to wear clean fragrances. I don't want to smell fruity. I don't want to smell gourmand. I don't want to smell nothing but clean. And this right here definitely delivered. And my mom even enjoyed this. She even used this along with me. So I would definitely repurchase this again. Currently have this in the shower. It's the Heavenly Products by Lee. Black owned business. It's her yawning soap. Um, love it. Will repurchase again. On the moisturizing body wash, I finished up the Pure Wonder moisturizing body wash. Set notes, ice, rosé, star jasmine, and warm white amber. Y'all. I enjoy the Pure Wonder scent, but I think I Pure Wondered myself out. I finished a hand soap. I finished this. I even have a room spray I'm still working on, and I'm just tired of the fragrance. Um, it's nice for the one-time use. I don't think I'll repurchase this again. 
it was okay for what it was. Next, we have this Irish Spring Original Clean. I really love this. Like, I prefer the body wash over the bar soap. The scent lingers on the skin for hours. Got her from Ollie's for $3.29. I love the smell of Irish Spring. I would definitely buy this again a thousand times over. We have a hand soap here. This is, I'm not sure the brand, but it's the Moisturizing Hand Wash and White Jasmine. When I worked at Home Goods, I bought these like crazy. I thought it was the best smelling thing I ever had. I bought three of these. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but I have one left and I cannot wait until it's, until it's finished. It smells really good. Um, once that other one is done, I will not buy this again. I'm, I'm tired of it. So it's done. It's a 32, it's a 33.8 fluid ounce. So you get a lot of soap for, at the time I had my discount. So I want to say I paid like five and some change for this. Next we have this VH Essentials Tea Tree Oil Prebiotic Daily Feminine Wash. Um, this was okay. I'm used to using Dove or like a baby wash. And to be honest with you, I don't know about this. I will say it did help with odor because I will say after having my baby, because it, it took a while for me to get through this. After having my baby, I feel like I had this metallic smell. Just to be honest with you, after you, after you have a baby, it's rough. And my periods were super rough. So um, this was okay. I don't think I'll buy this again. Um, I still am trying to figure out my holy grail feminine wash. I mean, the Yanni soap seems to be working fine from Heavenly Products by Lee, but I want to find something where I can just easily go into the store and grab instead of having to order it online. We got some bar soaps, y'all. I have another bar soap I meant to put in here. Um, so, for those who've been watching me, y'all know I love my European bar soaps. Um, this is the Castle Bell Jasmine Aromatic Soap. Smells really good. Got it from TJ Maxx, $3.99 in these bars. This is a 10.5 ounce bar. I will repurchase this over and over again. Um, I still have a nice little stash of bar soaps. I think I have like maybe 15 left. So I'm good, honestly, for the rest of the year. I'm trying to get in the habit of not hoarding things because things are meant to be used up. So we have that. Also finish up this Castle Bell Goat's Milk Soap in the Milk Scent. Love will definitely repurchase. We have a Dove Original, um, definitely would repurchase if it was on sale. And then I finally finished up my last bit of Dove Antibacterial Bar Soaps and I would not repurchase these again. I don't like the fact that they expire and I don't like the fact that I feel like the bar soaps and the antibacterial take a lot to lather up. So I would not buy these again. Next, finished up a Method Body and Peony Rosewater and Pink Sea Salt. Smells super good. Um, I got these back then when they were like, I think five or six dollars before the price went up. But the scent's really nice. It lathers really good. Would I buy it again? If it was on sale, I would. Um, I will say these can be kind of drying to the skin. But the scent's really nice. So it gives you a nice... Um, a nice aroma in the shower so definitely enjoyed that next finishes dove hydrating aloe birch water scent this smelled really good and this was trying to go bad because when i first purchased this it was a gel consistency and then as time went on it became like a liquid so i'm like yeah i gotta use this up but for the most part i love the way this made my skin feel it smells really good and clean and I want to say they discontinued this. So if I see it again, I would definitely repurchase. 
re let me re rephrase. I will repurchase this in the original packaging. Because this is a 22 ounce bottle. Whereas the newer packaging, you're losing a couple ounces. And, their price, and the price is still the same, if not more. So... You can find like these size bottles at like Ross, sometimes TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Burlington, or even Ollie's. So that's why I would buy these again. But as far as like in an actual department store, no, because I don't like the fact that I'm getting less for my money. Whew, y'all, it's a lot. Let's do some scrubs. I finished this body prescriptions. Honey Bunny Vanilla Sugar Body Scrub. Oh, it smells so good. I love the Body Prescription Scrub. They're very abrasive. Um, my suggestion on using these is using these first in the shower before you even lather soap on you. Because when you first lather up with soap and then you go into scrub, it is too harsh on the skin. But I would definitely repurchase the Vanilla Sugar Scent. It smells so really good um it's like a clean vanilla scent and i got this i want to say last year um in the springtime we have the dr tail shea sugar scrub definitely a repurchase love it this is in the citrus scent smells super good definitely repurchase that Next, we have the CeraVe Facial Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. I love this facial wash. I tried something else it's in the shower now, and I don't really care for it too much. It's a Neutrogena one. I can't think of the name. But once that one's done, I plan on going back to either CeraVe or Cetaphil. Finished up a pack of panty liners. Always. I already have backups of this. On my baby, I tried the Baby Dove for melanin rich skin. Smells good. Did not like it on my son. I feel like it didn't moisturize at all. So I would not buy that again. We have another hand soap. We have the Aroma Araya hand soap and white honeysuckle. Got this from Home Good. Smells good. I love the simplicity of the packaging of the amber bottle. Um, Smells fine. The soap is so lasted a while. In a 16.9 ounce bottle. Enjoyed that. One of her just soaps. Next, we have, like I said, Pure Wonder. I am Pure Wondered Out. Um, fragrance sales again, Ice Rose, Star Jazz, and Warm White Amber. I'm done with it. Um, if I seen this for 75% off, I will buy it again. But as far as it in body care, no, I'm done with it. Next, we have the Golden Citrus and Vanilla by Bath and Body Works. It's Sun Kiss Orange, Autumn Blooms, and Creamy Vanilla. This, I got no vanilla out of it. It's straight up citrus. I mean, I guess the vanilla kind of toned down the citrus notes in it. But I don't really smell much vanilla. But it was a nice soap. I like the packaging. I love the color. Um, I will definitely buy this again. We have the Equate extra heavy overnight maxi pads that are compared to the always brand i was at my mom's house and in a pinch i need to grab some pads and this was the better deal i have some here um with my at my boyfriend's house the regular always brands that i prefer but these i feel like are not the most absorbent and i feel like I have more leak, not necessarily leakage, but I feel like these did not stick to my underwear good enough. So, I have, hold on you guys. I have one more pack of these. Once these are gone, I'm going to stick to my Always brand. But this is just at a pinch. And if I was at a pinch, I would buy these again, but are they my favorite? 
No. Finish some A and D ointment on my son. Helps prevent diaper rash. We buy these over and over again. Definitely a repurchase. Okay. Let's try. We have a Dove sensitive skin. I use this. Um, you can use this as a base clean or on your lady bits. So I like it for that. Again, another A and D ointment. This is a lot. Finished of a Bath and Body Works Black Cherry Merlot. Set notes dark, dark cherry, black raspberry, and Merlot. I love Black Cherry Merlot. I would definitely buy this again, over and over again. Finished of a Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Cookie Crunch. Scent notes are shortbread cookie, buttercream, and vanilla scent notes. I absolutely love these wax melts. I already purchased a backup. Um, early spring, when it's really not warm, I had a vanilla bean from Bath and Body Works candle going. And it is Madagascar Vanilla Homemade Marshmallow and Nutmeg. Oh, kind of smoky now but it burned okay um uh, these two together these two together are chef's kiss oh my god so good I want to purchase another vanilla bean candle try not to all right, finished up a prenatal vitamin, so a folic acid. Still use these while nursing, as well as just a one-a-day vitamin. Already have repurchased. Try the postnatal ones right when I have my son. And to be honest, the prenatal ones work better to me than the postnatal. So, and I feel like they had more nutrients or more minerals and vitamins in it than this one so postnatal not that i'm having any children anytime soon but i would not buy the postnatal but continue to buy the prenatal in the nature made i threw this in here because i saw i'm like i see it on tiktok and on youtube people using this dapple baby bottle dish soap um it cleaned the bottles good, but I feel like you had to use a lot of soap to get it clean. And another thing I didn't like about this soap is that it irritated my hands. Like, it really irritated my hands. So, I will not buy this regular dish soap. It's fine. Finish. I did Quake Double Line Floss Picks. At first, I didn't like the double lines, but I actually prefer them. I feel like they really get the gunk in between my teeth, so I would definitely buy those again. We have the Be Mary by Castle Bell, Balsam and Fur Scented So This is my last one. Boyfriend pulled it out when he had no business pulling it out, touching my stuff. Why do men like to use our stuff? They have their own stuff, so why do you want to use mine? But anyway. You pulled this out. I wanted to save this for this holiday, but this is in the shower now. So, yeah. We have the DW Home Peony Petals Room Spray. This took a while to get through. Um, got this at Home Goods. This smells really good, very strong. I have a backup of this. Once that backup is done, I probably want to retire to say I'm done with it. But I like peony fragrance. Okay, we have another candle. This is the beloved coconut and warm vanilla vegan scented candle. Got this at Target on clearance for $4.49. Best deal ever. It smells so good. I'm like really mad at myself I didn't pick up more because they had a lot there and I had this burning in the bathroom and this is just perfect for a bathroom it's not enough throw 
to fill up a room. I know this is you. It's not enough for her to fill up a room, but for the bathroom, it was perfect. Um, if I seen this on sale, I would definitely buy this again because the original price is $15. I'm not paying $15 for a candle that's absolutely insane. But I actually love this candle for the bathroom. Definite repurchase. Finish up the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I would definitely buy this again. I just want to try different ones to see what I like the most, to be honest with you. And plus, CeraVe is kind of pricey. Um, the moisturizers, I would say. Another wax melt we finished up. A warm spring sunshine, scent notes are white peach, daisy, granny smith, apple, rainwater, melon, rainwater, melon, garden florals, and amber scent notes. This smells so good. I had this melting with um, the ice dragon fruit tea from Back in Body Works, and it projected a little bit. Definitely repurchase. Finish some saline spray for my son. It's really stuffy. Already repurchased. Picked up this utterly, I said picked up, finished this utterly smooth hand cream. Got this from Dollar Tree. Um, it was okay. I went buy it again. I feel like it didn't really do much for my hands. Finishes Dove Advanced Care Dry Spray and Cucumber. Smells good. I would definitely buy this again um, for traveling. Um, trying to get to the fun stuff last. Then I finished up this rose water. I used this for me and my son. Camera cut off. I have seven minutes left. Okay. Use it for me and my son's hair. We'll buy this. It's not have to be this brand, but it'll be that one. Ooh, this is a lot of stuff. Finish this Dr. Teal's Cozy Cinnamon Cashmere. Enjoy this. We'll definitely buy that again. Finished up a Vanilla Bean Noel Shower Gel. Fragrance notes, fresh vanilla beans, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow kiss must. I finished that as well as a lotion. Shower gel will not buy again. Lotion, I already have a backup. Finish up a coastal hydrangea. Scent notes of fresh hydrangeas, ocean mist, and golden apple. Cut it open. Finished. I would not buy this again. I thought I liked it in the beginning, but after a while, it started getting on my nerves. It started giving me shampoo vibes. Not that I don't like the smell of shampoo, but I don't think I want my body to smell like shampoo. Finished up a Body Fantasy Cupcake Swirl. I love this spray. So gourmand. This is perfect for the beginning of spring and winter. And I paired this with the Vanilla Bean Noel. Delicious. And I paired it with the cinnamon donut swirl. So I finished this lotion as well too. Scent notes are sweet cinnamon, brown sugar, fluffy dough. Love, love, love this. I have a backup. Once I'm done with that backup, I'm done with it. Finished up a Bath and Body Works piece. Ice raspberry bellini fragrance notes, chilled prosecco, sparkling raspberry, and citrus twist. Cut it open, finish, love this. I'm done with it. This is my last backup of this. Um, if they came out with this again, I probably won't buy it again because I'm pretty much done with that scent. Finish coconut cream pie body cream. Fragrance notes, toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, golden pie crust. This was my last backup. Cut it open and finish. Oh, they need to bring this back out. This smells so good. I prefer it in the body cream and the lotion, not the spray. Finish up. Where is it? Okay. A fresh getaway lotion as well as a mini. 
fragrance notes are bright gozu citrus fresh and fresh ocean air love this mm, what i want my cycle it's clean it's fresh it's airy i really wish i bought a backup of this at first i didn't think it was going to be full size worthy but it actually is i'm mad i didn't pick it up so i will definitely buy them again if they come back out with that nipple cream you know you know i already have a backup Lately, I've been getting into sheet masks and like the little individual masks. So, with my life, I don't have time to be mixing up like bentonite clay and all that stuff. So, buying these little masks help. So, I got these Tony Moly I'm Rice sheet masks. Clear skin. Love this mask. I will definitely buy it again. Finished up a Cubella Deep Cleansing Pink Clay Mud Mask. This worked really good. Just be careful with toning because um, it could burn because it's very detoxifying. And this was enough for two usage, two usages, but I didn't. I just used up as much as I can. I trashed it. Finished up this Cubella Skin Brightening Papaya Peel Off Mask. This was cool. I finished this. APL K Beauty Otter Mask. It's kind of cute because the mask looks like an otter. I have a few of these. This was given to me. So, um, as far as buying them again, I probably would. Ooh, oh, this is a long mask. Finished up a Dahlia body cream as well as a fine fragrance mist. Scent notes are velvet dahlia petals, crisp pear, praline musk, and whipped tonka bean. Cut it open, finish. Um, dahlia was nice. I would buy it again, preferably in the lotion, in the spray, because it goes pairs very well with Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. Finished up this Victoria's Secret Coconut Milk and Rose. This was cool, very clean. It was good for what it was. I will not buy that again. I also finished up a Victoria's Secret Pomegranate and Lotus. I paired this with the Ice Raspberry Bellini Body Cream. Smells so good. Mm. It was good for what it was. Why I buy it again? No, it's a one and done for me. I went through more in these toothpaste. But for some reason, nobody likes to keep them. But the Crest Cavity Protection Regular Paste, it was cool. Definitely would repurchase. I finished a lip balm, Vaseline lip balm, would repurchase. I finished a gingham um, mini. I bought a full size during the sass, this summer sass. So I am good. I finished a Brazilian Crush. Cherosa 71, Caramon Vanilla Macadamia. This is so delicious. If you want to smell like cookies, mm, this is it. I bought a full size in this. Finished two hand creams in April Bath Shower. This is Coconut Milk and the other one's Rose Vanilla. This was for Christmas gift. Wouldn't repurchase. Finished a Benzoyl Peroxide. It's done. And we have a strawberry pound cake pocket pad. It was cool. It's the only form of strawberry pound cake that I have. Would not buy again. If I seen it again, I probably would buy it, but it's not a favorite. This. Then I use this beloved, I want to say eucalyptus and something bath bomb. Got it on clearance for $1.49. Original price was $5. I would not pay $5 for this. Um, didn't really leave a scent in the bath like that. So, um, I have one more. It turned the water green, so that was interesting. But I'm still trying to experiment with bath bombs. I don't really understand them too much, to be honest with you. And last but not least, y'all, I am so sad. When I say sad that this is gone, but I'm like, I'm trying to get in the mindset of not hoarding things. Perfect Peony. Perfect Peony is my absolute 
all-time favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. I want to say the nose, it's so old, there's no nose on the back. I want to say there's like apple, peony, and I want to say sandalwood in it. Yo. So, so good. I picked up a somewhat of a dupe at Walmart. It's the Body, Body Ecology Peony Blush. It's similar. It smells pretty much the same, but there's some differences in it, but I'm so sad to see this go. I wish I bought more than this, but this is my absolute favorite. If they come back out with this, I'm buying like five or six of them because I absolutely love this fragrance. Bath and Fighters bring back perfect peony. Mm, it smells so good. So I'm going to do a final count of how much I went through and I'll be back. Okay, so I did a final count. I went through three candles, six body washes, two scrubs, five hand soaps, eight bar soaps, two wax melts, three lotions, many, four mini fine fragrance mists, four body creams, four standard uh, fine fragrance mists, one hand sanitizer, three hand creams, one lip balm, four sheet masks, one room spray, two facial products, and one deodorant. So that's a total of 54 items, not including baby care, feminine care, and oral care. That's a lot of stuff. Like, I'm proud of myself. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please tell me in the comments below how much product you used this past spring. Be blessed and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.